All right, good afternoon and welcome to Art with Mr. Roberts. Uh, today what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be completing a picture. So if you can see up here what I've done is I've done a picture of Mr. Ratcliffe just smashing a whole bunch of Cheetos coming flying at him through the air. Um, what I did was I went in a magazine and I found the Cheetos and I cut them out and I cut them out and then I glued them on there and then I added on my own little drawing to kind of change the picture a little bit. So I found mine in a magazine, but you could certainly find yours all around the house. Uh, look in the newspaper, um, look in the kitchen. Uh, you could cut up a food box. Um, anything with pictures on it uh, would be great. I think the simpler or the easier picture, the better. One example I found in here was this house. I thought the house is kind of boring by itself, but I thought, what if you put the house in a different environment? What if it was in the middle of the woods? What if it was sitting on the moon? What if it was on a different planet? What if it was uh, stranded alone in the desert? What if it had balloons tied to the top like the movie Up? What if it was built on a surfboard so it could go on the water? Um, there's a million different things that you could do. So that was just one example I found. I've got another one that I'm gonna show you guys here in just a second. Okay, if you guys are back here with me. What I found was a uh, little bottle of Tabasco sauce. I thought that was pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down. Um, if you don't have glue, it's no big deal. Uh, a couple options that you could do. Number one, you could try to use tape. If you can find tape, if you don't have tape, that's fine. What you could do is you could go ahead and trace around the picture so you know where it goes and then kind of continue your drawing with that. So I think I'm gonna have my Tabasco sauce just dropping out big old drips of hot, hot Tabasco onto my slice of pizza is what I'm gonna go with here. So I do like hot sauce on my pizza. I do like ranch on my pizza too. I don't know where everyone else feels about that, but I feel pretty strongly that both ranch and hot sauce are excellent additions to pizza. Come after me, fight me, prove me wrong. But I'm gonna draw my little pizza triangle. I'm gonna draw a big splash of hot sauce right here. Okay, I've got some pepperonis because I like pepperoni on my pizza. Got little bits of cheese. Want to just see a couple of those pop up. It could also be like green peppers or whatever else you like on your pizza. I also am a big fan of mushrooms on the pizza, which I know I'll even accept the fact that mushrooms are not the most popular ingredient, but I'm a fan, so I'm gonna put them on there. Now, from here, you could, uh, depends. If you just have a pencil and paper, then good. You can leave it right here. I think it looks pretty cool to have something in color in detail, in contrast or opposite to something that's just drawn in pencil. Or you can go ahead and decide to add color with anything that you have around the house. Um, I stole about half a box of crayons from my niece. So that's what I've been using right now to go ahead and add color. And I guess we got some purple hot sauce. So that must mean that it's very, 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 very spicy. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I am just gonna start in on the crust here. It's been a long time since I've drawn with crayons. They are actually pretty fun. And I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. All right, guys, thanks again for having me together for another awesome day. Um, I want you guys to stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, if you have any comments or if you want to share your pictures with me, call me or text me on my cell phone number. You can find that under the contact or info section on the YouTube page. Have a great day. See ya.